what's up guys today i'm going to go through this certain style of editing that you might have seen on instagram where it locks on to a certain part of the video clip so for this effect to work best you want to add some movement into your video clip whilst focusing on a certain object in the video clip so for this video clip i did like an orbit shot of this wheel and kept the mercedes badge in the center of the frame so the first thing i'm going to do is add any speed effects I want to add to my video clip. So if you're adding speed ramps or speeding video clips up, then you want to do that before you add the stabilization effect. I have another video on my channel. I'll link it in the description on how to speed ramp video clips. But for this one, I'm just going to speed it up so that it shows this effect. So for the locked on stabilization effect, I'm going to use this plugin from Pixel Film Studios. I'll leave it linked in the description. It's an effect plugin. So I'm going to drag this onto my video clip and then up in the parameters here, I'm going to click the stabilize on and off and then go into my track editor. So now we have this track editor and it has a little timeline down here, which you can scrub through your video clip. I like to go to the middle of the video clip and then move this box, this target area onto the object that I want to focus on. Most of the time it works best if you just leave the box the same size. I'm going to go up to the tracking options and I'm just going to leave it on position only. And then I'm going to click the back arrow. So that has created these keyframes, which is going to keep the object in the middle. And then I'm going to go back to the middle and then just press on the right arrow. And this method of starting in the middle and going back and then forward to create the keyframes just seems to work best for me. And then I'm going to click export data, confirm, close this down. So now if I play this back, it keeps the Mercedes badge in the middle of the screen. And this plugin is also quite cool because it creates a motion tile on the edges instead of just a black area. It doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is use this to zoom in until the motion tile has disappeared. If you're not getting super smooth results just using this plugin, then what I usually do is add stabilization first and then add the Pixel Film Studios plugin after. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Very simple to do. For this edit, I also added a shake transition. So to add a shake transition, what I'm going to do is bring in an adjustment layer, go up to my titles, go to adjustment layer and bring in an adjustment layer. And then I'm going to select the end of the adjustment layer and go to my transitions tab. And I'm going to go down to this shake transitions pack. I'll leave this linked in the description. And then I'm just going to double click on this bounce transition. And because I added the transition to the end of the adjustment layer, it's only going to use the second half of the transition. So as you can see, it adds a shake transition to the second video clip, but it's a bit too strong. So what I'm going to do is go up to my parameters up here and I can change the shake amount and also the cycles. I'm just going to turn these down a little bit. Still a bit harsh, so I'll turn it down a little bit more. So once I have those added, then what I'm going to do is add some motion blur. And I usually use the motion blur in the titles tab, but I also like to use a plugin called RSMB, which is a really premium motion blur plugin. I'll leave it linked in the description. It's pretty expensive, but it's, it's an amazing plugin and it makes everything look super smooth and really nice. So I'm gonna go to my effects tab over here and go to revision effects and RSMB, this is the one I normally use. I'm just going to drag that onto my video clips. I could drag it onto an adjustment layer, but I find sometimes it's kind of glitchy. So it, it works best if you just add it to the video clips. And if I turn it on and off here, you can see the motion blur that it adds. You can also turn this up as well, but the settings that it comes with are really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll see you in the next video.